So I chose this project because these algorithms are changing every aspect of human life. Machine learning is being used for machine drivable cars, predicting diseases, and even the understanding of the complex human language. And so I've decided to get my hands in some of these technologies. I thought about giving a shot to Q&A and maybe uh, asking some queries about the coronavirus and getting some good advice from our good body. So for this video, I would like to go over some techniques of natural language processing. I would like also to talk about BERT, which is the technology that we are using for this project. And then we'll go on and see some of, our, some of the coding that we have for this uh, project. So natural language processing, also known as NLP, prepares the text for a machine to understand. So the first step is to tokenize each word from the paragraph and then apply the rules of the language which is being used through NLP techniques. After each token has been labeled and each of the words turned into the root form, also entities have been labeled such as person, location, organization, and uh, each of the tokens have had their frame of dependencies form we can now start feeding this information to our computer through word embeddings. Word embeddings are high dimensional vectors that contain the meaning of words by the context in, when they, in, in which they appear. And so this example that we have on screen, we can see all of these countries appear in similar context and so are located in a similar spot inside this bag of words. So, and so is the case with the days of the week or numbers. Now have a closer look at the word one over here. Although it's a number, it's quite far and this is because the word is used in many different contexts, not just a numerical context. For example, he is the one or one time I did this, one time I did that. And so it's a bit farther away in space. It sort of associates words as we do which is fascinating. Uh, it even recognizes words that it has never seen in training. For example, I was hungry and tired, so I went to my cave or to my crib. Even if the algorithm has never seen this word in training before, it will understand by, by, by cave or crib we mean home or house, just by the context it appears in. BERT is a state-of-the-art pre-trained artificial intelligence model that already contains a bag of words that we can work with. It contains approximately 3.4 billion word corpus from the Wikipedia. There are many different types of BERT currently, for example, text classification. There is also uh, text generation. Uh, for this project, we have chosen question and answering. So these models have been trained using the Stanford question and answering dataset that we have here. Here we can see a, a small example of the pattern used to train the model. The structure is 250 words max per paragraph from the Wikipedia. So it's sort of an informatic type of text, as you can see in this example, followed by direct questions, which answers, as you can see, can be found in parts of the paragraph. It is paramount to follow the same pattern when working with this model so that we yield best results. So let's skip to the code section, enough theory for today. And I'll be using simple transformers, which is uh, an abstraction from the most popular library transformers by Hugging Face. This simple transformer library is easy to use and it yields great results. So we are using Collab from Google as our compiler because uh, it lets you use their GPUs to run your code and training these models can be very time consuming. Let me walk you through the code. First, we install the simple transformer libraries and import our Q&A model. Second, we initialize our BERT model. Large means the number of words used to train it. Cased means uppercase and lowercase matter. 
whole word masking is the technique Bert uses to improve context representation when training. And lastly, fine tune in squat dataset, previously explained on this video. I have chosen this model because out of all the 45 models available in the Transformers library, I've tested all of them and the results show this is the one which yield best outcome for our project. Let's train our model. I've attempted to fine tune BERT using my own dataset. This is the dataset I've made on the topic of depression. The JSON structure used is the same one used in the squat dataset. The first key represents the context where the answer can be found. The second key contains questions and answers objects. Other than the question being asked, the question object also wants to know if the answer is found in the paragraph. And a unique identifier. The answer wants to know at what index in the context does the answer starts and the exact matching passage in, in the context as our answer. Depending on the style in which we ask the questions and select the answer, it will influence how BERT answers, either long or short answers, for example. So our model should be ready. I have prepared a paragraph on COVID-19. I've tried to stick to the same format as Squad, so I actually copied the text from the Wikipedia for best results. We will now test our algorithm. Okay, so I have prepared a couple of questions. First is, what is COVID-19? Uh, press play and let's check out the answer that our algorithm gives us. Okay, so our predicted answer is coronavirus disease to 2019. We can see that it got the answer from the first sentence. Now, let's try a different question. What are the symptoms of coronavirus? Let's check it out. Severe acute respiratory syndrome. That is as well pretty accurate. As we can see, it's found in this part of our context sentence. Well, we can try asking where was the first case of COVID-19? And so our answer is Wuhan, China. That's three zero for Bert. And uh, let's try a new question. When was the first case of coronavirus? And so our first answer is 17 of November 2019. But we also have a second answer that says December 2019 in Wuhan, China. Now, if we have a look at the text, we can see that... Oops, that's wrong. There you go. If we have a look at the text we can see that it's saying that it was the first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. But further in the test, it also says that the first case might be traced back to 17th of November 2019. So we get both of those possible answers as first and second choice, which is pretty impressive again. Now let's try a new question. How many people have died from COVID-19? And our first answer is 426,000 people. And lastly, we will ask Bert how many people did coronavirus infected? And there we go, 7.69 million people. As we can see, this algorithm has basically scored 5 out of 5 questions. I can see that the accuracy when using the right format for the context and the right question is really good, but how about we test it in a different environment? More of a conversation, if I would say. So I prepared this text that only contains certain information that you can find on a supermarket. And the idea is we are going to try to approach this exercise, this experiment, as if we were a customer asking a chatbot for information and let's see what the chatbot can do how many bananas can i buy with one dollar five second answer is five bananas that's pretty good so let's ask our our friend the next question and if i wanted 10 bananas how much will that be 
two dollars okay so let's see what else can we ask I'll take five bananas thank you and excuse me one more question how much does the orange juice costs three dollars let's keep the conversation going and now let's ask Bert oh my god that is so expensive I think I'll just get milk how expensive is the large one one dollar and let's try one more question before we end the conversation oh no I've gotten my money at home I've forgotten my money at home I've only got spare change what size of milk could I buy with 58 cents small second answer small milk though that's the answer that you that you can expect when using artificial intelligence pre-trained models trained by bidirectional transformers thank you for taking the time to look at my project cheers